Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about bone spurs. Now bone spurs I call splinters in the mouth. The reason why, because they are very, very small pieces of a chip of a tooth, bone, whatever you wanna call it, in your gums, it's very painful. Any type of pressure on there, it hurts. So why do you get bone spurs in your mouth? So after a tooth extraction, one or a full mouth extraction for dentures, you can't have little fragments of bone in your gums left over. Uh, it's not something that your dentist did wrong, it's just something that happens. And so your body is trying to get rid of those bone spurs while it's healing your gums. And so those bone spurs will get slowly pushed out. And sometimes they'll eventually just go away. A lot of times they'll come to the surface and be really painful. Now, when I had my 24 teeth extracted a year and a half ago, I developed about 10 to 15 bone spurs and they were pretty painful. Two I had to have removed by my dentist, the rest I've removed them by myself. So remove them by yourself, you have to be careful. I, I'm not saying you should do this, I'm just giving you my advice and what I did. If I went to the dentist every time I had a bone spur, I'd be there nonstop and that would get very expensive. And so when I had the two front bone spurs that I had to have removed, they basically took some little clippers and went there, just snipped it right off. And it, it was kind of painful. It was really raw and sore right there for a few days. But the rest of the bone spurs I removed on my own. So once you have a bone spur going, sticking through your gums and it's causing pain, you'll feel the sharpness of it poking through. And that's the only time you can really remove them by yourself. If they're not poking through, don't bother. So this part of the video, I just want to give a little caution. I'm not saying this is exactly what you should do. I'm just giving my experience of what I did. If you have any concerns, you will want to talk to your dentist, but this is what I did. So what I did is I went to my local Walgreens, bought some oral numbing liquid. It's only a few bucks and I'll post a picture here of what it is. And basically where the bone spur is, I would take a drop of that numbing liquid and put it right there on top of it. And I would let it sit there for a few so it gets really numb because trying to move the bone spur with already sensitive gums and this thing sticking out of your gums is very painful. But with the numbing liquid, it didn't really hurt. So once I found the spot, put the numbing liquid on it, let it sit for a minute, and then I would use some very clean, sterile tweezers to reach in there and carefully grab it and pull it out. And these bone spurs are so small. It's really surprising how small and painful they are. And so you just grab it carefully. And sometimes you can't really get a good grip. You have to keep messing with it or wait another day until it starts poking through more. So after I removed the bone spurs, I would have some bleeding just a little bit, nothing crazy, nothing like your teeth getting pulled out. So I would just wipe the blood away and I would gargle with some warm salt water to help clean it out. But that would work pretty well. And like I said, I did this about 10 times, removing all these bone spurs. I had them all over the bottom, the top. They uh, were kind of frustrating, but you give it a little bit, once it's sticking through enough and you get the habit of figuring out which way it's sticking through. It could be poking through going up, going down to left, right, whatever way, and then go and grab it from that way with your tweezers and slowly pull it out. And it's like instant relief. I mean, you don't feel anything anymore. So it's a really nice way of getting rid of that frustration and pain. But I do want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you in any way. If you have any questions, leave them below. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I just hit 1,000 subscribers. Pretty crazy. I never expected that to happen. It's a pretty cool thing uh, to think that 1,000 people are subscribed to my channel. But I do appreciate you watching and enjoying. Everyone have a good day.